Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Mara Carranza. I'm translating a video that I found to be very special today on the uh, tour that uh, the president of Mexico is doing, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. And he is um, traveling today to Te or Tecat, Yucatan, and he's with the Mayan people. And uh, they have this um, man that speaks from the audience, from the heart. Um, and as you can see, it's a dialogue with the indigenous people. So when the president goes to all of these little territories, he allows the people to speak their minds and let them know what is actually happening in each of the areas. And so in this case, as I was watching this video this morning, because I am very impressed with the president that he takes the time to visit all the areas. He has been to every province in the uh, Mexican uh, states, and he has met with all the people, and he continues to do that. And that is the reason why he has refused to travel outside of Mexico, uh, because he wants to use all his uh, weekends to travel the country and get to know his people get to know what their needs are firsthand and let them know that he cares. And this is just further evidence of that. And so I want to share with you uh, what happened at this particular uh, meeting or dialogue with the indigenous people. So without further ado, here we go. We're going to go ahead and start. And he says, why not speak? with the important part that the Mayan people have put forth in the struggle for the independence of our country and of the first spark of the Mexican Revolution. And for this reason, my brothers and sisters, este tiene un gran this event has great significance. Y a este respecto, citar, and in this respect, I would like to cite para mi in order to end my intervention lo que dice el Popol Boom. what Popol Boom says. Que todos se levanten that everyone should stand up, que todos. that all should walk, que no haya uno, ni... that there not be one, Dos, que se quede atrás. nor two that stay behind. Hoy, Today, el Maya, the people of the Maya, or the Mayan people, se levanta con usted. stand up with you, Señor Presidente de la... Mr. President of the Re Mexican Republic, para conjuntamente in order to construct together la cuarta transformación de Mexico, the fourth transformation of Mexico, y que se aleje de una vez por todos, and that we set aside and put out once and for all los horizontes, la, the hor horizons of these detestable exclusion uh, hor uh, horizons de y de of discrimination and colonialism. Viva el Maya. Long live the heroic Mayan people. And I'm sure he's speaking Mayan right there at the very end, which I don't know what he said. Now here it might be interesting to note, they're called Mayas. And I'm not sure if, I've, I've used the word Mayan to describe the Mayas. And somebody corrected me and said that was incorrect, that it should be Mayos. Um, I'm not sure about that. I still feel like Mayan is the most appropriate use of it. But just so you know, that's a, something that, that could be questionable in translation. But in any case, they call themselves Mayas. And uh, this is the Maya people uh, there in Mexico, in Yucatan. 
and so uh, they speak a different, uh, several different dialects, uh, but um, I don't speak any of them, <laughs> so I don't know what they say when they speak in their dialect, just so you know. So did you notice that gesture that the president made? He said, what, what? And, and he's looking out at the crowd because it looks like somebody's trying to say something. And he looks out and gestures. And he said to somebody, calm down, slow down. And I don't know if he's talking to his people or to the person, but he's making gestures. So there's a man speaking and he's holding up documents and the president is intently listening to what he has to say. So I don't know what he said before because I couldn't hear, but he said, I'm sorry, and I said one more than one. I, we consider that it is very important. The perforation of um, wells, but we also consider that they need to give us uh, electrical energy by solar panels. Fortunately for us, we have a subfloor that is below our land that is full of water. And besides that, our land is a, a filter. The water is filtered. And we need more hours of irrigation in order to have a productive crop. We cannot be subjected to temporal or seasonal waters. And he says, Donald Trump says that the uh, seasonal changes are affecting all the peoples and towns. And the indigenous people, the Mayans, are not some of those not those that are being affected. And we have in health uh, uh, issues more than 1,200 um, transfers that we have to make uh, a month. And so the president is signaling to his people to hand him the mic. And he, uh, the man is saying that there was a hospital built in the year 2000, but it has not been finished. And they have to send their people very far every time they have an emergency or a illness. And it's very difficult for them to get there. <laughs> And the people got very excited because they see that the president is going to have the mic handed to him and they're going to be able to speak their minds. And so the people are seem very, they're all uh, saying, yes, let him speak, let him speak. And they're handing their papers. And so they're handing the mic to him as, as we do this. And then he said, thank you very much, sir. And he says, so let me begin with this. We want to uh, give, uh, tell you of our gratitude infinitely. that a president of the republic would fix his eyes on the people. And that it has gone up to the power that you now have. Never has a president of the republic done what you have done. 
never before has the president of the republic done what you are doing for our people. He says a lot of people um, critique you for what you are doing. <laughs> but, but we are with you, sir, because we do not see. We don't see you going to France, other countries like uh, Paris and uh, uh, Germany. So these presidents that did this did nothing for us but sell our country. And we are rescuing our country with you. And the efforts that you make should be considered. And also with the support of all of us, the people. And that's why we are here to ask you to rescue the people, the indigenous people. And it's embarrassing that other people are coming to our country and our lands and putting up solar panels. And then they charge us for that energy that we could not, so that we can no longer have enough, uh, uh, we cannot afford the production, the good production of uh, in our land. Because of the cost that this is going to inflate on us now. And we have here a clinic which was started in the year 2000. And this clinic has not yet begun functioning like it should be. I gave the uh, folder, uh, file folder to the young man. And there's a statistic that we spend more than 200,000 uh, pesos in transferring people. But that is not what is most important, sir. And he said, but the most, the worst part is the risks that we have when we try to transfer them. Because there's a two hour uh, uh, trip just to get to the head, uh, the main road, and then we have two hours more to get to the hospital, to the capital. And then at the capital, we have to wait to see when they will decide to attend to us. And then there are uh, things that we have to do in between that. That is why the urgency and the necessity. And we have hunger and we have need. I was telling my friends yesterday. I want to go visit a commi commissary, a commission in uh, Kosup. Uh, for uh, religious matters, we want to uh, to teach them about the Bible. And we came upon a little house there. They only had three tortillas. And it was three people that lived there. 
a man that was 80 years old, a woman that was approximately 60, and a little boy that was about 10. And there was three of us pastors that went there to teach them. And the first thing that those indigenous people did, they offered us food. And there was only three tortillas on the grill. And there was three of us that arrived. And three that lived there. And I guarantee you, sir, that if you go and you come, or we go and you accompany us to see that home, we can go and we can knock on that door and we make a noise. But there is no noise because there is no door. And there were no windows. And three Maya people, indigenous, live there. And I can guarantee you that after so many homes that were built, that home remains the same to this day, abandoned as all, all of as ever. We need for the necessities of the people be a, to be attended. And we need for the people to have the same confidence that we have in you. And that transparency that you have been asking for. That will land on the people, sir. But not to only be a name. And we ask you, sir, I have here another uh, request which um, I have uh, filled out here. And in this form, we are contemplating, sir. And it's not the first time that I've had it sent to you. I went to three different places, and the last one was the Ul. And today I will turn it in again, and I hope that you read it, sir. I ask you for two minutes to read it, sir. Sir, it's some adult people. We've been planning and discussing it. Women that have been abandoned, women that are uh, single. And there's youth with alcoholism and drug addiction. And there's groups that are trying to rescue these youth so they can reincorporate into the social life. And that they be able to sustain themselves with these lands that we're asking for. In order to uh, cultivate the land or have small animals so they can sustain themselves. And on top of that, to rescue the land. There's several programs that we have thought about. We hope that because of you, we will be able to, by something that you propose, sir, that we can create some organizations in each of the municipalities where the people can be informed, the people that are selling their lands, 
not because they are being offered lots of money, but because they have so much necessity. And these lands are being taken advantage of by people that have lots of money. And they have no need or necessity. And they are taking advantage of us. And we want that with the resources we have, with the water that is in our own area, the Sagalba, that they should support these people and be well organized. Not poorly organized or disorganized. Because the laws have been misused. And the, that the guarantee of the people, the Maya people, should be in the hands of the Maya people. But because, unfortunately, they were not well oriented, they have fallen in uh, troubles where they've had to sell their land and in illegal ways, inclusively, or due to economic desperation. Because we are subjected to the climate, sir. There's lots of things we want to tell you, sir. And we respect your time. And we are very appreciative that you took the time to listen. There, thank you very much, uh, Senor, <laughs> which is Sir. Uh, and then he said his name. Uh, Miguel, oh, I'm going to have to play that back to get that, but Ceballo was the last name. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there because I just wanted to share with you what a beautiful relationship the president has with the people. <laughs>